Hey kids, today we've got a nocturnal house in our animal park. Some trees for some shade for the animals, a big aquarium and some shrubs. Oh, who's in the back? It's an orca. Orcas can be as long as a school bus. Wow, enjoy the water orca. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's an elephant. Elephants are naturally great swimmers and use their trunk as a snorkel so they can breathe. Wow. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a zebra. Did you know that baby zebras can walk and run within one hour of being born? And adult zebras can run up to 56 kilometers per hour. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's this flying in? It's a bird. It's an owl. Owls are nocturnal animals, which means they're awake during the night. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's an anaconda. Anacondas spend most of their time in the water as they are able to move faster in the water than they can on the land. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a dolphin. Dolphins are carnivores, which means they eat meat. Dolphins like to eat fish, squid, and shrimp. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a hippopotamus. Hippopotamuses spend most of their day in the water and venture out at dusk and come back in the morning to the water. Don't forget to close the gate. The car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a baby giraffe and an adult giraffe. The spots on a giraffe's body are much like human fingerprints. They are individual to the giraffe. Wait for me, Mum. I'm coming. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a raccoon. Raccoons are nocturnal animals, which means they do most of their adventures and hunting at night and sleep during the day. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's this flying in? It's a bat. A bat is also a nocturnal animal. Oh, the car's here. It's a lion. Did you know that lions can climb trees? Lions climb trees to get a better view or to enjoy the breeze. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a penguin. Even though penguins cannot fly, they are considered birds. Their wings are much better for swimming through the water. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a reindeer. In Arctic regions with lots of snow, reindeers are used to pull sleighs for several, whoops, for several hours. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a monkey. Monkeys have the ability to jump and climb trees. A lot of monkeys like to live in the rainforest. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a leopard. Leopards love to swim and are also classified as nocturnal. They like to hunt and take adventures during the night. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a mandrill. Did you know that mandrills have their own food containers? They have pockets inside their cheeks 
to store food for later. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a crab. Crabs are omnivores, which means they like to eat plants and meats, such as algae, worms, and crustaceans. Oh, the car's here. Who's in the back? It's a cheetah. Cheetahs use the spots on their bodies to help camouflage them when lying in long grass. This protects them from predators. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a tiger. Did you know that tigers have antiseptic saliva? So if they get a cut, they just lick their wound to help it heal. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's this? It's a green tree frog. Splash! A green tree frog is also nocturnal. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a brown bear. Brown bears are also known as grizzlies and can be found in North America, Europe and Asia. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a cassowary. Did you know that cassowary can jump five feet off the ground? They can use their legs to kick as well. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a gazelle. Gazelles tend to live in the desert, which means they get most of their water from plants. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's an orangutan. Orangutans love to climb and swing in the trees. They are the heaviest tree dwelling animal. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's an octopus. When in the ocean, octopus can shoot out ink to help protect them from predators. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a boar. Boars have a long rubbery snout which is used for digging underground roots and bulbs. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a salamander. Much like frogs, salamanders have tongues that shoot out to catch their prey. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a rhinoceros. Rhinoceros can weigh up to 3,000 kilograms, which is the same weight as an orca. Don't forget to close the gate. <gasps> Who's this flying in? It's a bird. It's an eagle. Nice landing. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's an antelope. Did you know that antelopes make both a moo and bark noise? Similar to cows and dogs. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back? It's a jackal. Jackals can be found in southeastern Europe, Asia, and Africa. Don't forget to close the gate. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a honey badger. Honey badgers use their long claws to dig holes if they are in danger. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a porcupine. Porcupines tend to spend most of their time on the ground, but can also climb trees. Oh, the car's here. Who's that in the back? It's a koala. Koalas also love to climb trees and eat eucalyptus leaves. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's a ring-tailed lemur. Ring-tailed lemurs like to eat mostly fruit and leaves, especially the leaves of the tamarind tree. Oh, who's in the back of the car? It's an alligator. At night time, when alligators are in the water, 
their eyes glow in the dark so you can still see them in the water. Don't forget to close the gate. Thanks for watching kids. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!